the food topic of current electricity is available and it's only going for sale at 10 kwacha. And after you make a payment using Airtel or MTN mobile money, I'm going to send the video on WhatsApp. And this video includes the following electrical symbols, current, quantity of charge, direction of current, potential difference, electromotive force, electrical energy, power, electrical resistance, the circuit, series connection, parallel connection, cost of electricity, the three pin plug, the fuse. So in physics today we're going to start looking at current electricity. So an electric current consists of moving charges. Therefore electricity is the flow of electrons in a conductor. And for us to understand electric uh for us to understand current electricity, it is important to look at different electrical symbols. So the first symbol that we're going to start with is that of a wire. So the wire is written in this form. And the function of wire is to pass current very easily from one part of a circuit to another. So that's the function. Then we're going to look at the cell. The function of the cell is to supply electrical energy and the cell has a large terminal which is uh, on the left as you can see and that uh, represents the positive charge. So this large terminal represents the positive charge and the smaller terminal represents the negative charge. We have the voltmeter. So this is drawn in this form. And the function of the voltmeter is to measure voltage. Then we also have the ammeter. This is drawn in this form. And the function of the ammeter is to measure current. We also have the galvanometer. We also have uh, uh, the galvanometer. So we represent current by I. So in, you're going to discover that in most of the books they represent current by I there. And the definition of current is defined as the rate of flow of charge. So th this is the rate of flow of charge. So current current is defined as the rate so it's defined as the rate of flow of charge and the formula that we can use we can say uh, our current which is i is equal to q which is charge over t Uh, the amount uh, so the amount of charge flowing through the circuit is referred to as quantity of charge so quantity of charge this is the amount so this is the amount of charge flowing the circuit 
data quantity or charge and the symbol of uh, charge the symbol that we use to represent charge is q that's the symbol then the other the si units of charge so for ex the first example if the current through uh through the circuit is 5 amps what charge passes in 10 seconds so if so that's the uh, first question if the current flowing through the circuit is uh, 5 amps what charge passes in 10 seconds so here uh, the current we have been given so current which is I we have been given which is 5 amps and the first question asks us to calculate current passing in 10 seconds so from this you can collect your data you know that current that's 5 amp you also know that time that's 10 seconds but q you don't know which is charge so we know that q is equal to i t So the direction of current. So before electrons were discovered, it was assumed that current was the flow of positive charges. That means that uh, we actually assumed that that was the movement from the positive charges to the negative charges. And after electrons were discovered, we now know that current is the flow flow is the flow of negative uh, charges so potential difference So potential difference is defined as the work done in moving one column of electricity between the points. So this is the work done in moving one column of electricity between uh, uh, between points. So this is what is the potential difference. So from this, I know that the energy is 6 Joule. Then the uh the charge which is q is two uh colob then have been asked to find the potential uh difference and from this i can say potential difference uh is equal to my energy which is represented by w or e so w divided by q so my potential difference will be equal to their w that's energy which is 6 divided by q that's 2 so my potential difference there it's uh, 3 volts let us look at another example in 20 seconds a charge of 25 colob leaves a battery and 200 joules of energy are delivered to an outside current as a result then a what is the potential difference across the battery so this is two so in so the electromotive force let us look at the definition of the electromotive force. So this is defined as the total work done by a source of electricity in driving one column of electricity through the circuit. So th this is the total work done by a source of electricity. So you need to differentiate between the electromotive force and the potential difference. Potential difference, we said, 
that was the work done. So the symbol that we use is EMF. That's the uh, the symbol that we use. Then the units of force is the volts. So the unit we use. Then uh, the other important thing that must be known is that some of the electromotive gives the electromotive force. So the sum of the potential difference gives the electromotive force. electrical energy so electrical energy is defined as the work done in moving a quantity of charge so this is the work done in moving a quantity of charge Moving a quantity of charge. That's the definition. The symbol that we use to represent electrical is E or W. The symbol that is in some books you can't find E in some books you're going to find W. Then the units of measuring energy is Joule. The jaws. So the units given jaw, which let us now look at power. So power is defined as the rate of doing work this is defined as the rate of doing work that's the definition so power is defined as the rate of doing work then the symbol of power is p the symbol that we use is p then the other units of power can either be joule per second which is also called watts so the units of power you can either read joule per second or watts so that's the definition the symbol and the SI units of power and from this definition we can say uh, power is equal to work done work done divided by the time taken and work done here it can also uh, work done can also be referred to as energy so it can be energy over time taken 